Here is a demonstration of crystal subsurface engraving. Subsurface laser engraving typically uses green or UV laser engraving machines, both of which work on the same principle. The laser beam passes through the surface of a transparent material, such as glass or crystal, and focuses inside the material. This creates energy greater than the threshold required to cause internal disruption, producing tiny white dots by micro-explosions within the material. These dots are then arranged by rapidly moving the laser spot in a precise pattern to form the desired shape. So, what are the differences between green and UV lasers in subsurface engraving? First, both green and UV lasers are cold light sources that use frequency doubling technology. Converting infrared light with a wavelength of 1064 nanometers from a solid state laser into shorter wavelengths using nonlinear crystals. Green laser light has a wavelength of 532 nanometers, which is visible, while UV light has a wavelength of 355 nanometers, which is invisible. Here's an interesting fact. Visible light falls within a specific wavelength range, from 400 nanometers to 700 nanometers. Light beyond this range is invisible, with wavelengths above 700 nanometers classified as infrared and those below 400 nanometers as ultraviolet. Longer wavelengths appear redder, and shorter ones appear more purple. The green laser pointers commonly used for demonstrations operate in a visible spectrum but pose a risk of severe eye damage, so never look directly at them. In laser subsurface engraving, the most notable distinction between green and UV lasers is that green laser spots are larger and engrave faster, while UV laser spots are finer, allowing for more precise and detailed engraving. Now, let's take a look at their engraving results.